can a boat hook in a box this small turn into something like this and still be useful? We're going to find out. Join us on the Elliott as we realize our five-year plan with the kids. Grown up, moved out, graduated from college. We take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. Our friends at PYI came up with this new product that they wanted us to review, share with you what our thoughts were. And to be honest with you, if we, we like it, we might buy one. It's kind of a cool concept. But let's start with this. So this is a traditional boat hook. That's right. It expands, so you can, you know, go up to, how long does this one go? Uh, Five feet, something like that. Yeah, twice whatever the heck this is. Um, I'll be honest, I hate boat hooks. I really do. Uh, they show lack of confidence in your captain, especially when you're trying to fend off of things. But they come in really handy to tend lines, as well as if you're on a mooring buoy to grab the mooring buoy. So right. it is kind of a necessary on a boat. But we're on a dinghy right now. This is our whaler. And putting this thing on a, a dinghy, or if you had a jet ski, it... It's not really convenient. Yeah, it's, it's not something that's going to work. It's awkward and big. That's right. So that's where the Revolve boat hook comes in, which... I have no idea. We're doing an unboxing right now because <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. So I how, peeked inside the box. That's right. So how is this going to turn into something like that? All right, go for it. All right, so in the box... And seriously, check this out. That's it. Yeah. This is a boat hook. Can hmm. you believe that? All right, let's yard it out. So the Revolve boat hook, this thing is, it's composite. It's like this flexible composite. And check it out. So it oh. pops open. That's how it works. Yeah, so it kind of curls. Ben told you all about it. Huh? No, it's just, uh, just told me this, it's this cool thing. Let's start with this. So it has a foam handle, okay? That's it nice. has this composite and it, I mean, it's it's definitely stiff. There's no question about it. That is so weird. Sorry for the sirens in the background, but it is Seattle. That's the way it's gonna be. You know, it's easy enough to open. Now this, from what I understand. It's a little latchy hooky thing. Yeah, it's got this slot in there. And I believe you, Mount it up with this. It's got a, an opening here, mm. and then it has yeah. an arrow that says lock. There you go. Okay. So there you go. So it's locked in place. Lay this down. So what do you think? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It's so. It's very lightweight. Yeah. And this is not what I expected. I didn't know how this was going to all work. In. But it's very convenient, and the fact that you can roll it up. <laughs> and stow it in a very small space is super convenient. Yeah, never seen anything like it. Alright, here's your standard one that does not roll up. This one rolls up into a tiny little schmegma in a box. They're both about the same weight. The composite is 75 inches, so this is what? Another foot? <laughs> Two. But collapse that as much as you possibly can. Yeah. This one, that's as far as that one goes. And this one rolls up into a box. So it's kind of cool. Now, the guys at uh, PYI were saying that they're testing, the prototyping right now, new different ends for this thing. They're going to have, they're saying a mop, and they're also going to have a brush. Yep. And I don't know what else so is going to be coming as well. Do all the cleaning things as well. Yeah. Mop, brush, whatever accessories you want on the end of it. Boom. All right, now we know that that works. How about how it goes back together? So I believe what we do is you flatten this thing out. No, you don't even have to do that. You let really? it. Really? Yeah. You, it no, just no. doesn't. Yeah. Have faith. Did you cheat? No, I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat, but I read We're the side. We're supposed to do this together. No, no, look at the box, though. Here, look at the side of the box. The little side of the box says don't do that. 
It has actually what I thought were kind of shitty instructions, but stow it. They're actually pretty good instructions, and they tell you like undo that. Don't try to crick it, but you just roll it, and roll it rolls it. upon itself. Mm-hmm. That's what the instructions say. So let's see how this works. Mm-hmm. Is it gonna fit back in the box? That's right. the question. It never fits back in the box. Nothing. You always take it out. And it never fits back in. No. You end up having to throw the damn box away. Have you ever had a mattress? Like a foam mattress? <laughs> Forget That's about that. From Costco? It's never going back in the box. <laughs> no. I think I had to return one to Costco once and they just told me just yeah. have it. Cut yeah, the tags off, send it back. Throw it away. We don't want it back. <laughs> yeah, that has nothing to do with this. Now, there's that, and then this has a slot on the back of it. it goes right back in the center. It's not, you know, it's not going to fit in a cup holder, but it is it's small. And, oh my gosh. It fit back in the box! <laughs> That's amazing. So maybe the only beef that we have is that the cardboard box doesn't really store it very well. But after we monkeyed with it a little bit, we think we found a storage solution. So put it right there on the rail, and we're hooks, good. Yeah, hooks right on. That'd be great. But, uh, you know, the hook could potentially come off, so it would be nice to have it in, like, a little mesh bag or something. Something that it all stays together. Yeah. That's about our only critique so far. All right, so thumbs up or thumbs down? I think that's pretty awesome. I'll give it a thumbs up. I think we're actually... We're gonna buy it. Uh, like we do with all the things that we show you on our channel, we buy these things, people don't give them to us. Uh, but this one, I think MSRP right now is $119. It sounds like a lot, but if you can use it with these other things, I think it's totally worth it, so. Yeah. Two thumbs up. I love it. All right, it's time for dinner. Have a good one. From here in sunny Seattle. Here's our buddy. <laughs> Guys, go say hi to Finley. Video. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one. Horse Summer, shit. Seattle. What? It's horseshit. This weather. This weather is horseshit. I'm hoping summer's going to be better. We'll see. But then again, this is the first day of summer, so you tell me. There you go. Right, right. We're probably not going to use any of that. All right.